Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing a little trick to make your GoPro handlebar mount not move when it's attached to a pair of bike handlebars or a ski pole or anything that's kind of metal and slippery. As most of you who have used the handlebar mounts in the past will know, even if you really crank down the bolts that hold the handlebar mount on, there's still a fair amount of movement in the mount and there's really no way to um, to stop this. You'll see on the mount I've got, I've got it cranked down so hard that the, the mount is actually starting to bend and yet the mount still has the ability to um, pretty freely move on the handlebar and especially if you're going on to, you're going mountain biking or anything that's high impact, you'll find that the camera loses its position that you've mounted in pretty easily. What's the easy way to fix this? Well, since most of us are going to be bikers that are trying to mount our, our GoPro to our handlebars, one of the really simple, easy, and cheap ways to, um, to do this is actually to use an old bike inner tube. So this is a bike inner tube that's flat. There's a hole in it, so I don't. it's kind of garbage, but it can be repurposed very easily as a little bit of rubber that we can put inside the handlebar mount to stop it moving. To do this, we're simply going to cut a piece of the inner tube. I'm going to go right by the valve. Then I'm going to measure it by going around the handlebar, finding the, um, the right size, and then cutting again right there. So to use this with our handlebar mount, we simply wrap the little piece of cut inner tube around the handlebars, and then slide in the second bolt, tighten them up, and there's not even really any need to do them as tight as we were doing them before. And as you can see right away, this mount has far, far less ability to move than without the little piece of rubber insulation inside it. I can crank on the, uh, the handlebars as hard as I want and the camera, and I'm really not getting any movement out of it at all. So guys, thanks for watching this with another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video showing how to use an old inner tube to make your GoPro handlebar mount really, really secure. This is virtually a free thing to do, and if you ever lose a little rubber piece, which I've done several times, it's very easy to cut more of it out of your inner tube for free. Um, so, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my channel and subscribe for lots more videos.